Here's a math problem that has some hard ways to solve it, but also a really clever way that barely involves any work at all. In the diagram here, segment AC is a diameter of the circle. All the other lengths are given. So the question is, what's the length of segment BD? Pause the video, see if you can figure it out, and then resume when you're ready for the clever solution. Like so many other problems, you can solve this problem in several different ways, some of them more involved than others. A good mathematician is always looking for a clever solution, and I think there is one to this problem. The key recognition is the fact that since segment AC is a diameter, that makes this blue triangle a right triangle, with angle B being a right angle. But whenever we have a diameter here, the triangle built off of it will be a right triangle when it's inscribed in the circle. That means we can find segment AC using our good friend, the Pythagorean theorem. Because we have two legs of the right triangle, three and four, namely, and what we're looking for is the hypotenuse of the right triangle. So we could say that three squared plus four squared should equal x squared, where x is that hypotenuse, or the diameter of this circle in our case. 3 squared plus 4 squared is 25, so 25 is equal to x squared. That makes x, that side length, 5. We can find the area of this triangle two different ways, and since it's the same triangle, however I calculate its area should always give me the same answer, right? The area formula for the triangle is area equals 1 half times base times height. Now, I could think of the base and the height as being 3 and 4, because even though they're not pictured in a way where you think base and height, Base and height are just perpendicular to each other, so the 3 being perpendicular to the 4, we could use those as the base and the height of this triangle if we rotate the picture. So the area is therefore 1 half of 3 times 4. That means the area is 1 half of 12. That means the area is 6 square units. Now let's sort of shift our perspective and say, well, hey, what if we treat AC? That could be our base, and that has a length of 5. And BD, well, we don't know it, but that could be our height, so we'll call it H. Well, let's think about what we could do here. We could say that the area is 1 half of 5 times H. But we know the area is 6, don't we? I mean, we literally just figured that out over here. So we could say that 6 is equal to 1 half of, of 5 times the height. Okay, well, this is a simple equation we could solve. I'll multiply by 2, I get 12. 12 equals 5H. I could divide by 5, and now I get 12 fifths, some fractional length, that is equal to the height of this triangle, and that is segment BD, and now we've solved the problem, and we never had to do a single proportion or remember any weird formulas from geometry. We just use Pythagorean theorem, and we use the area of the triangle. If you found this problem rewarding, tag a friend that you think could use a good challenge today, and send them this video. Tune in next week for another Think Fast Math Challenge. We'll see you next week.